One of the benefits of working with computers is that they make us more efficient. Now, this efficiency includes speed. The use of templates speeds up our work by eliminating repetitive parts of our work. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Excel template. An Excel template is simply a pre-designed spreadsheet which you can adapt or customize to meet your own needs. That is just what I've done here. I have created an invoice here and I'm about to issue it to my client. I want to save it so I issue it to my client. To do that, I finished creating the invoice. I want to save this invoice as a template. The first step is to go here, go to File, Save As, and look for a location. I want to put it on the desktop. So I'm going to call it my new template. The next step is to dis determine what type of file you're saving it as. Save as type. You're not going to save it as a regular Excel workbook. You click here and then you look for templates. You're going to save it as an Excel template. So we've given it a name already and then you click save. You see, so we now have an Excel template here. If the next customer comes and I need to issue an invoice, let's say this spreadsheet is closed. I need to issue an invoice. All I have to do is simply go to file, name, this file new, and then you see featured here. These are the default templates that come with Excel. And these are the spreadsheet templates that I've created. So this is it, my new templates. I simply double click on it and then it comes. Now let's issue it to this client. Let's say the date is 2012, then 2020. Then we type in the invoice number and let's type in the customer ID. We're sending it to Mr. Reichput. Okay. And then what did he buy? He bought books. The quantity is four. Description, books. Unit price is 30. I've already incorporated formulas in these places. So the invoice has been entered. This is okay. The next thing I do is to save it. File, save. Then Excel asks me for the name of the file. So I'm going to call it Rajput Invoice. You see, now I have an Excel worksheet called Rajput Invoice, which I can print later. When I finish, I can close it. File close. So when the next client comes and I need to fill out an invoice, I simply go to File, New. And then I click on Personal. This is where all the invoices that I created myself are displayed. If you click on Featured, it displays all the templates that come with Excel by default. So let's go to Personal, My New Invoice. I simply double click on it and then it comes. You see, it's blank. When I fill it and I save it, every time I open the template, it's going to give me a blank invoice. Every time it gives me a blank invoice, I fill it and I save it. The blank invoice stays the way it is. So we do not have to repeatedly uh, erase the old data to type in and all that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye for now.